Hi, my Tubies, my TikTokers, Sheila True Love. I know I've been missing in action all of, uh, well, I think I did something on Friday. I did um, Saturday. I told you Friday I had a date. Uh, Saturday I had a date. It was interesting. I always like mental stimulation. Either you are going to be able to entertain me mentally, spiritually, or make me laugh. And yeah, it was a person named Andrew. We hung out for like three hours or so, and it was very, very interesting. And then I went out on another date on Saturday. Someone who hit me up in my Facebook DMs. And yeah, like I said, I don't hate men. I don't mind, uh, you know, them entertaining me or, uh, you know, um, building me up spiritually. If you could do do one of the three things, then yeah, you could, you could spend time with She the True Love. Build me up spiritually. Either build me up spiritually uh, mentally simulate mental simulation or making me laugh. I mean, really one or the other. Come on. Let's keep it real. Anyway, let me share with you. I know I haven't, uh, did much of anything this weekend and, uh, yeah. Do I feel bad about it? Uh, slightly. <laughs> Cause I'm always trying to keep you enlightened. Anyway, without further ado, let me share this information with you and then I'll come back to you with my commentary. This is who they look up to. They look up to Andrew Tate. They look up to Charleston White. They look up to all the pimps. They're telling you what their intentions are, and their intentions are to use you. Pimp in that sense. Like, I was not trying to have sex with women. I was trying to get women to obey me, and I realized that's easier if they like to have sex with me. Because they don't like having sex with me, it's pretty hard to make them listen to me. So yeah, on CobraTape.com, I have my PhD program, and that is, uh, PhD is a uh, pimp and hose degree. But, um, um, Clever. And that, Clever. That, that, that teaches basically how I got girls, how I met girls, how I got girls to like me, how I got girls to fall in love with me to work on webcam for me. Stop thinking that falling in love is a thing. There is no such thing as falling in love. That's what I did. That was my, my MO was find girls, make them love me and make them work for me. Now, as you could imagine, after I came across these clips and others like them, it made me start to seriously doubt that Tate is telling the truth when he says that he's not guilty of trafficking. And just so we're on the same page here, lover boy trafficking is when you lure a woman in by making her fall in love with you over a long period of time. Lover boy trafficking. Lover boy trafficking. Making a woman fall in love with you over an extended period of time. This falls into the personality traits of a Machiavellian. And because a Machiavellian will set you up for years. They will set you up for years. This is why you must understand the foundation of the male. And that's rooted in biology. If you understood the biological nature of the male and you understood these philosophical concepts like love, if you understood this, you could see through them like glass. They hate you. Let me tell you, ladies, the reason why men hate you is because by nature you are born with a lot of power and they know that you're smarter than them but you got all this power and you so smart and you let these dumb males run you into the ground teaching a course on how to make money by getting women to do webcam the phd course is my recruitment system i don't mention webcam until after I've had sex with the girl. If you're on dates and you're trying to mention it, it, it just doesn't work. It puts them off. I'd never do that. That's disgusting. I'm not a whore. Uh, it's just not going to work. You continue as normal. No mention of webcam. You fuck the girl. After you fuck the girl, you do the PhD test. After you fuck the girl, right? I keep telling you that sex is a manipulation tool of taking advantage of men as he's also admitted to doing in past clips like this when i talk about what women don't find that men that women don't know what men find attractive the earlier on this podcast everything i said the part the webcam company i was running proved that per perfectly so i'm trying to teach these women and the women kept it up so i said to said to him it's like you know what it. i'm taking over so what i did is i unplugged their keyboards and plugged a new one in for me behind the screen so the chicks would sit there and hit a, a keyboard that wasn't plugged in and me and my brother, and eventually some 
staff I trained would do all the talking. The girls were just pure, just famosers, just laughing and doing this. They took it out and they were talking to ice cold hustlers. We were taking their money, all of it. If they they come and say, well, what kind of, well, all of it. We were fucking milking them dry. Women haven't got a clue how to famous do. They don't have, because they rely on their looks. They don't. Women don't have a clue how to finesse a dude because they ride on their looks. Women are dumb, basically. Women ain't got no game. They have no intelligence. And you base everything on looks. This is the reason why men keep harping on how attractive y'all are to keep you out of knowledge, to keep you from thinking, because they want to use you as a resource. You got to be dumb in order for them to do it. And that's why they want to stop you from listening to me. Because I make you think. I make you smart. I make, I, I, I take the stupidity away from you. In my situation, you get access to girls that no one else has access to. When you run game like me and meet the women who I meet and roll in the circles I meet, you meet beautiful virgins sometimes. Me, I'll do two or three virgins a year. Now, how do you date a virgin when you're a when you're an ice cold player? There is a tactic which I'm going to share with you mm. on how to date a virgin, how to take a girl for virginity. Is the recipe? I'm sorry, guys. You want to run into a virgin the next day? Don't ask me how. I don't know. I don't think anyone knows. I don't even think it's possible. You have to be their boyfriend for an extended period of time. You then have to take a virginity on the second month anniversary or something along those lines. And I'm going to teach you how to do it. I need that. Why do I feel the need to put women down? Why do I have the need to think of them as inferior? And I can come up with, a, uh, with some kind of psychological explanation and say yes, because I don't have a relationship <coughs> with life as a man. I have not got the same relational ability as women who are bio-wired to give birth to babies, to raise them up. Men never do that. They don't come close. We don't have the brain wiring to do life, and we don't have the brain wiring to do relationship. Those, for men, are acquired traits. Ah, uh, they don't have the brain wiring to do relationships. Now, if that don't convince your ass that they incapable of love, I don't, I, don't, I know what will. This is who well, I'm not going to say that all men are this way. I think that, to be honest with you, women who feel that all men are trash or all men are garbage, those are women who are still broken and they're not healed. Because trust me when I tell you there are some men out here, 3%, not, not the, the percentage is not that high, but there is 3% of men who really do have respect and love for God and Christ. And no one can ever change my mind on that. Women who are constantly going around saying that all men, all men are no good. I'm not going to, how you say, endorse that or sign up for that. Because that's true. At the same time, when you listen to what 97% of these men, how they're wired, and how these men, their foundation, where, where their foundation is, it's true. I got I to gotta hear Priscilla. You know, I listen to Priscilla. I don't agree with everything that she says. Just like I listen to Sprinkle Sprinkle. I don't agree with everything that they say, but they're making a lot of good points in so many areas, just not in every area. You know, a lot of them are still broken and they need to be healed. And instead of focusing on trying to find a relationship or trying to get in into a situation ship or uh, whatever the hell with another man, what they need to be focusing on is healing themselves. And I think the best way for women to heal themselves is being a part of a sisterhood. Women working on, women are more nurturing. We're more communicative. We, we, we are uh, more loving. I'm sorry. We just, uh, we just are. Um, yeah, you have a lot of women who are still so broken and they're still out here believing that without a man, life is not worth living. That's sad to me. That's like really sad. Um, a lot of things that she said is interesting. 
Let me play it and then I'll stop it with areas that I agree and what I don't agree on. I'll give you my commentary piece by piece. They're telling you what their intentions are and their intentions are to use you. Pimp in that sense. Like I was not trying to have sex with women. I was trying to get women to obey me and I realized that's easier if they like to have sex with me. If they don't like having sex with me, it's pretty hard to make them listen to me. So yeah, on CorporateKate.com I have my PhD program and that is... Uh... You do have a lot of women who are, as they say, dick whipped. And you see his main objective is to get women to obey him, be submissive to him and all that other crazy nonsense. But all men don't think like him. Thank you, Jesus. You know, 3% of the men are decent because I've also posted there are men like Joyce Meyer's husband, David, mad, stupid, crazy, cool. You got Priscilla Shire, awesome. Her husband, James, nice. And then you have uh, Tony Gaskin. His family relationships are dynamic. She looked up and they all believe in what the Bible said, what God puts together. Let no one pull apart what God puts together. The Bible also says don't become unevenly yoked with unbelievers. I mean, come on. I don't care if he says that he is a man of God. If he's a man of God, then he has a ministry. He's a part of a Bible study brotherhood group. Jesus Christ did say, go therefore and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So if he's a genuine Christian, the way that you will know that is because he has a ministry. You have a lot of these men saying that, oh, I want a Christian wife. They're not Christian husbands. They only want a Christian wife because they feel that a Christian wife, she's easier to manipulate. She's easier to take advantage of, and she's not going nowhere. That's the reason why they want this Christian woman, but he's not a Christian man, so don't fall for that. Anytime a man is going around telling you, let me pay all the bills, that's a man who's red light, red light, red flag, stop, pause, run. That's a man who wants to control you, dominate and abuse you. So let me just listen to some more of what uh, Princella is saying. She's making a lot of sense in a lot of areas. Uh, PhD is a uh, pimp and hose degree. But, um, um, Clever. You know, that, Clever. That, that, that teaches basically how I got girls, how I met girls, how I got girls to like me, how I got girls to fall in love with me to work on webcam for me. Stop thinking that Falling in love is a thing. There is no such thing as falling in love. That's what I did. That was my, my MO was find girls, make them love me, and make them work for me. Now, as you could imagine, after I came that across... That was his MO, finding girls, making them fall in love with me, and then they work, with, they work for me. Not work with me as a partner, they work for me. You know all these women that you see doing the financial heavy lifting? Yeah, those are men who knows how to play this game and they play it well. He's just a pimp. She thinks she has a husband. You don't have a husband, honey. You have a pimp. I like these men are saying lately, pimping ain't easy. <laughs> I know way too many women who are doing the financial heavy lifting. You know, if you look at my previous other videos, I'm a 50-50 type of girl. I believe in paying half the rent, the mortgage, half the food, half the whatever. He does half the work at home. I do one week on, he does one week, and then I have that week off. I mean, I do one week on, and then he has one week where he's on, right? And that's pretty much it. I gotta go, because I'm getting a uh, message from my ex-husband. Check that out. We'll talk again.